Hey guys, it's your girl, Raquel. What's going on? Uh, how y'all been? How y'all doing? Um, I just need to call you. I mean, my phone ringing. I just stopped this video because the phone ringing. Y'all ignore the ringing in the background because I'm not going to go get it again and it stops ringing. So, no. Anyway, guys, I'm finally getting this haul up. I'm not sure where to start at, but I do know it just keeps growing. It keeps growing. So, we're going to get this done because this is a collective haul, okay? So, don't I think I want to spend all this, you know, money at one time. I started, um, <laughs> okay, I did go back to the store yesterday. Thank you, Desi. Thank you. That's all right. If you guys don't know her, she is my girl here on YouTube. And it's my fault because I didn't have to go run get, but I did. I had to go back for yesterday and I ended up buying some new stuff because she had picked up some shades of a lip color I didn't get. If y'all didn't see her visit video, y'all check out Desi 1016. I think it's Desi right now. Just look for Desi 1016 or uh, Desi right. Anyway, you'll see her haul and the lipstick she got. I was missing some, so I went back to get those colors and end up picking up two. But anyway, y'all, this is like I was saying. I got a little bit from Ulta, a lot from Sephora. So, uh, how about I'm just going to break it up in, let's just go with, uh, I'm not sure. I'll just let you know what I picked up from Ulta, which if you shop at Ulta, you know what's what. So, but we're going to start with skincare. How about that? Let's see. Oh, you know what? I really want to share this with you guys because I've been wanting to open it. I got this bag as a uh, VIB perk, point perk or something. And uh, this was back in December, early part of December. And I don't remember how many points it was, but it's a Kat Von D makeup bag. And this is what was making me keep waiting and waiting and to do the video because I was waiting on the brush to come. With this set that's in here, you get a Kat Von D brush with your uh, name on it. And they just keep pushing the date back. I got another email yesterday that said it'll be probably February 28th because of the demand of how many orders they had of getting your um, personalized uh, name on the brushes so we don't do it without it. I'll show it to you guys when it comes. Um, anyway, I got the Like It Concealer. Oh, I already got the concealer. They just put some samples of that concealer inside of here. And then you got um, the Like It Setting Powder. Kevin D. Did I say that? If I didn't it's Kat Von D's Like It Setting Powder, which I did not get, so I'm really happy to get this so I can try it. Oh, yeah. I don't know about... It's not really... Ooh, it's coming out the sides. Okay, we're going to get in here because I want to see this powder. I really like a lot of Kat Von D stuff. Oh, it's real smooth. It's a real smooth powder. And it's not really white. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that because of the lighting, but it's not really yellow. It's kind of a tan like cream, so I mean cream powder, so I can't wait to try it. And it has a little bitty, I'm going to try this now if I get a spot. And y'all, this is not oil. Let me tell y'all what happened. I got so carried away with that little peach powder. Right? Y'all know I don't glow, but ooh. It was so pretty. I'm just, I'm glistening. I'm beyond glowing right now. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, let me see what else is in here. Oh, the Saints and Center, a big size. Saints and Center uh, perfume sample. And see, I've been meaning to get these. But the only thing that stopped me from getting them is I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted. And they're not really expensive. It's like $65 a piece. I may just go ahead and get both, but not for a while. This is Center and this is Saint. And these smell so good. This is like the third sample size I've gotten of these. Oh, they smell good. And that's a pretty good deluxe sample size. I mean, for real. And both of them just have Cat Bundy on there. And what else is in this bag? A locket makeup setting mist. Hmm. Now that's that's tryable. I know I'm gonna be trying stuff on. I can't 
Oh, I like the way that you don't really have a smell, but it feels refreshing on the skin. It really feels ref really refreshing. I'm gonna have to try this. Like it makeup setting mist. They could have did a you know a little bigger sample to try. But yeah. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try it. And that's what's in there. Hmm, but I'm really this setting powder, I'm really wanting to try. Really wanna try. Yeah, I didn't got on samples. We'll do them last, okay? Cause y'all know I got a, a bag. A bag. And probably I probably picked up the okay, forget it. We'll just run through this, okay? Bear with me. And I don't know what's up with all these perfumes. They must be trying to get me to buy one. This is Arterio Carter, um, Clementine, California. Another deluxe sample size. I'm going to be smelling like something. That smell good. I'm going to be smelling like something else when I get through with all these samples. And uh, what is this? Urban Decay Glide On Pencil. This is another one. This is like what the fifth one I got. And that's what's wrong with my eye now because I used it and it just don't get along. Sorry y'all. It don't get along with my contact at all. At all in this perversion. You know what? I think it's the one that I bought because this little mini one, it was not doing it. And then I got a Bye Bye Under Eye Cream from It Cosmetics. Which I'm, I don't just jump too fast for that stuff because you know they 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 had plenty of time to get it right and I can't a lot of that stuff I can't use a lot of that stuff I don't know this bag is full of stuff I mean wow what is this John Waters Guerlain perfume sugar fresh lip caramel hydrating balm oh I'm gonna open this I missed this. I gotta smell it, y'all. Oh, that's what it looks like. I haven't seen this. And then another Arteria Cologne. Jeez, the same one. Clementine, California. So y'all know this was a couple of orders. And this time it's in a big bottle versus this little spray. So, and it smells good. They might get me into buying it. And, uh, DKNY. And living proof. I got so many of these living proofs. Okay, now we done with the samples. We got that part out the way. Now, y'all, let's get into the meat of this haul. Let's just start jump off with skincare, which I know you guys see. I this is I had to get another one of these you to the people. Um, facial cleanser because I really like the first one, and I ran out. Really, I just ran out of the the uh, kale and spinach hydrolonic acid um, moisture moisture cream. I just ran out of that, but I've been finished with this uh, spinach and vitamin wash. This is just cheaper, a cheaper way to buy it all. And this uh, spirillium micro. See my contacts. I can't see ya. Micro algae kale and spinach face mask. This is the main thing I want. And the cost of this in the regular size covers both of these. So this is why I keep buying this little sample. And I have really, really been into skincare lately. Yeah, I mean, for real. Okay, this ain't going to work. Y'all, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to be right back because this contact is horrible. I got the eyeliner is all in it and all I can kind of see is just clouds. So give me a minute. I'll be back. Okay, sorry about y'all. That, yeah, that's a lot better because I, I couldn't see nothing. I mean, it was like super cloudy. Yeah, I could have edited that out, but I'm not. So it's just me. I found this on the Florida uh, Clinique Monster Moisture Surge Face Spray. I didn't know Clinique. I guess everybody got a face spray, huh? I'm going to have to peel this makeup off my face when I get through spraying. This don't have a smell. Thirsty skin. Relief. Oh, I didn't need to spray this on my face. This is for dry skin. <laughs> so I'm gonna be real, real order here. Huh? <laughs> okay. Now let's jump back into this video. I'm trying to get some of this stuff from in front of me because I'm getting um 
bombard it. Bombard it. Oh wow, there's more stuff in this bag. I forgot where I was. We was talking about the kale. Oh yeah, okay. We was talking about the use to the people, but I picked up this bag and it's more stuff in here. Which I already have. This Glam Glow Balsamic Matte Moisturizer. I already got that. And then this, oh, are they serious? A itty bitty bitty Sephora Lip Rouge. I was about to throw you away, dude. Oh, that's a pretty red. Hmm. That's a pretty red. Okay. I got so many minis. I was just telling y'all that. And I'm still getting more. I'm, I'm finna. Y'all know. You wonder why I'm in here? Nope. I haven't finished that room. It's stuff everywhere in that room. I can't. I won't even record in there. Because the whole table full of stuff. I'm going to spend my night tonight. I'm going to get up from here. I'm going to get me some, um, I don't know what I want to eat, but I'm going to get me some food. I'm going to sit down and eat, and then I'm just going to sit in the middle of the floor in that room until I get it done. Because this is borderline just simply lazy now. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. I got a birthday gift. The Sephora uh, VIB Beauty Insider. I chose the Bite Beauty one. This was in for uh, January. My birthday was in January, yeah. And this is another uh, Bite Beauty lipstick, which I'm really liking. I had one on that looks like this one I have on now yesterday. And I really liked it. And this is a really pretty brown chai. That's what it's called. And then, of course... A lip scrub and a Gavi lip balm, which I gotta get this uh, lip balm, not the balm, the treatment. I like that treatment mask. I've used it all. No, something else in here. Okay, what is this? Glaze. Oh, another lipstick. Another lipstick. We don't get through these samples to get to the meat. And I, I'm sorry, y'all, that I'm just jumping all around. But, uh, I know we started with skincare. And did I tell you I really like this stuff that's used to the people? But, um, I don't know why I just keep getting the sample size instead of real sizes. I know why. I'm lying. I know why. Because I keep trying new stuff. Even though I like it, I've really gotten into the drunk elephant line. And um, I use it more, but I open this out the box, throw it away, so that I can put it on my little skincare shelf to make sure I start using it next. Um, let's see, what else we got? Oh, we're going with skincare. I did repurchase this Space Race Fight Acne and Oil Pores. I actually purchased this for the UFO oil. I really didn't see a difference in that mattifying. Get out. Space race fight acne oil pores all wrapped up in one kit. That's what the box looks like. I was gonna say I really didn't see a difference in this mattifying Martian. I can't say Martian. Martian. It came out. <laughs> mattifying melting water gel toner. I really didn't see a lot of a difference in this. This uh, super acne mask treatment. I don't remember using this. Maybe I didn't. It has 10% sulfur, 4% niacinamide, and 1% zinc. I don't remember using this. Hmm. Or maybe this kit is different from the first one I got. I don't know. But this was the main reason I got it was for the UFO oil. I'm really into oils. After my, um, this is an ultra clarifying face oil. And this oil is pretty expensive on its own. I think it's about the same as this. I think this set was $60. And I think this oil is $60. So to get these two as a bonus, that's why I picked it up. And I figured that's not going to be something permanent that's on Sephora Forest site. So, yeah. Even if I have to put it like in the background and pick it up. But the oil I'm going to be using every night. Um, I picked up this Laneige Lip Sippy Mask. And this lip sleeping mask, lip sleeping mask, this is what the packaging looks like. Yeah, and this is the product. 
and this could not wait on my shelf for the haul. I have been using this every night. I mean, your lips just wake up super soft, and you don't have to use a lot of it to get the effects. And I figured this will last a while. I was on the fence about paying 20 bucks for this, but then after I started using it, I was glad I did. And this, I did see this on Amazon for like $17. Yep. Um, sticking with the skincare, y'all. I picked up some cleansers, more cleansers. We're gonna stick with cleansers. I got these from um, Ulta. Yeah, they were on sale for like $7.97 at one point. These, and um, that's when I picked them up. This is the Melting Gel Cleanser for normal or dry skin. I didn't notice that because this is not what I had. I had the one for oily skin. Um, when I ordered that spin brush from them, this came. I mean, I didn't order it. I got it from Walgreens. Yeah, I remember. I don't know. If you watch my videos, it was in the, um, the spin brush set that I got last year around Christmas time. Not last year. This was 16. <laughs> yeah, I finally used it up around October. And I really liked it. I really, really liked this. And, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm comparing it to, I was looking for something. Let me show y'all what else I got. I know I'm jumping around, but bear with me. I picked up another one of these Cl Clinique Take Off the Day, right? And these are like $25. $25. I really like these. I like these. But these were like $7, right? And I'm really in the cleansing oils, and that's what these are. So this was just seven dollars. Why not grab two of them? And they they really do the same thing. They you just put a little bit in your hand, and it just melts off your face. And you know, make this stretch and last a little longer. That's all. I know I'm I'm being repetitive, and I know I'm buying some of the same stuff, but I won't have to buy it again. That's for definitely sure. I'll be stocked up. On my cleansing oils. Now, uh, is that the only one? Yeah. And from cleansing oils, again, from Ulta. Now, these I just bought, was it last Saturday or Sunday? These are normally $17.50, $18.50. I think it's $17 something. But they were on sale at uh, Ulta last week for $8.50. So, this is the Clinique Liquefied Facial Soap Oily Skin Formula. That's what the bottle looks like. Yeah, so at eight fifty, I know they're seventeen fifty a piece. I bought two of them because I really like these. I do the oil cleanse in my skincare routine, nighttime anyway. When I'm wearing makeup, I pop off my lashes. I don't even bother with just cleaning off one eye. I just pop off my lashes and put the oil in my hands and massage it in, wipe it off, and then I clean my face with a face cleanser, and then I clean it one more time. I do a skincare routine, y'all, which you'll see. I have added so much stuff to my skincare routine, it's almost impossible. And I'm going to go ahead right now and apologize for how long this video is and for jumping everywhere because I know I'm all over the place because there's so much stuff I want to tell you guys about. Okay, let's keep going with skincare, okay? The next thing I picked up, cleansing, okay, is this ABH, ABH. A, I think my Anastasia, right? Was this A H A B H A exfoliating cleanser by Marad? This had, had so many reviews on it that um, I really wanted to try it. And you're not supposed to use this. Um, oh yeah, use A M and P a massage over dampened face and neck. See, when I um, watched the video on this, it said use a couple times a week, and then well, it was somebody doing the video. But to read the back, it tells you to use twice a week, which is why I got the extra cleansers, which I plan on doing. I'm not going to use this every night because I'm using so many AHA, BHA products. That'll be a lot. So I'll probably use this three times a week and um, use the other cleansers. These two I have from Clinique in the morning and the night just for regular cleansers. Okay. We're going to see how this works. This exfoliates to reveal smoother, younger looking skin. So, we'll see. We'll see. Let me show you what the packaging looks like. Because I know a lot of times what's in the box. 
thought that was a cute one y'all this is what the bottle looks like doesn't really have a smell whoa nah no smell like anything but we'll see after these if these spots and dots start clearing up y'all we gonna know what's up we gonna know what's making this face look uh beautiful again <laughs> without all the spots and dots that is uh, I also picked up this uh, blackout tingling treatment this came out um, a few weeks ago from Tarte uh, whew, I want to say the first of January the first week if in January this is uh, formulated to exfoliate, balance, and minimize the appearance of pores. And this had, I mean, everybody that uses this. This has 10% acid complex, powerful pH rebalancing blend of Cecilia. Yeah, Cecilia. Yeah, that acid. Lactate acid to help and renew and resurface the skin's appearance. Use after cleansing, cleansing, moisten the cotton ball with knockout tingling treatment in a sweeping motion. Huh down to decollete and towards the, uh, towards the neck and then the face avoiding contour of the eyes allow to dry before applying the next product so I will be using this this is supposed to be another chemical exfoliator so either I'm gonna turn white or I'm gonna have an even skin tone because this is a lot and I'm gonna figure out a way to squeeze this into what I'm already using I did say that yep I said that okay and then I picked up a mask and this is the TLC baby facial by drunk elephant I was on the fence about getting this because this here is a little bit on the expensive side and I'm using all drunk elephant products now you know except for that the cleansers the toners because um, I don't like that I didn't like that jelly cleanser it was mm -mm. That's what made me pick this up because I had a sample of this and that's what I started using and I really liked it. And then it ended up being on sale. But anyway, this is a TLC Sakari Baby Facial. It has 25% AHA and 2% BHA. And I've used this twice. I let put it back in the box, but I have used it twice. And it suggested that you use the Marilla Oil with it. And I just got another sample. I like the Marilla Oil because the first sample um, I've used up. And this little sample here just came with it. But I was on the fence about uh, whether I wanted to repurchase it or not. Because it was another oil I really wanted. And I still may go back and get it. But you're supposed to follow this up with the Marilla oil. But you know, we don't usually do what we're supposed to do, right? Right? But this is a, a chemical exfoliator. I'm really trying to get rid of all the spots and dots and get my skin clear again. So, uh, yeah, I got a hell of a uh, <sighs> skincare. I'm gonna have to figure out what to use and where to use it because I'm, I'm getting really a lot, but it's gonna work out because I only use this baby facial uh, on Wednesday nights. So, yeah, once a week. So, we'll see how it works out. And then I picked up this. Uh, squalene vitamin C rose oil you guys remember the other video you know my wine video yeah a little shame about that but it's okay it's okay and I really like this oil I had finished it all up so I went back and purchased the full size I was on the fence because this oil this is expensive <laughs> it's pretty expensive so I see why they send you that little sample for five dollars and don't mind sending it to you because it, it, I really like it. I mean, it works on my skin tone without making me super oily. And I can use it at night and in the morning under my makeup. And it doesn't just make me super oily. So, yeah. I picked that up. Plant derived. It's for brightness. It brightens, firms, and evens the skin tone and texture. And that's what I need. So, I had to go ahead and grab this oil. Ugh. I'm trying to stay focused, y'all, but it's like this stuff is, it's, I guess it's going down. I mean, I'm excited and I want to get it out and I want to tell you guys about it. But I think we're pretty much done with skincare. 
Okay, that's that fresh sugar lip caramel. Can't wait to try that. Can't wait to try that. But anyway, we're done with that. Let's move along. Oh, I did pick up one fragrance, y'all. <coughs> I got this My Burberry Blush. <coughs> I actually got this um, in December when Ulta had that 20% off after Christmas. Y'all remember that? Yeah, that's what I went in. And I, I just grabbed this and just some um, stuff repurchases that I things that I repurchased that you guys probably want to see in a haul. But I am going to make me a, a box of stuff that I'm going to use. Ooh. Hmm. I like that top. Mine is a little. Yeah. But this is just Burberry blush. I wanted this for Christmas. But nobody saw that. They, they missed that. Yeah. I still like that. I really like this Burberry blush. I'm about to go in there and order me. Um. One more because they got 20% off now. Right now. I think today is the last day. This Saturday is the last day to get the 20% off. And it's even on perfumes. But no, I ain't going back. I got too many. That smells good. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep smelling it. Okay. Now we're going to move on. Oh, still skin. Still skin. I picked this up when it was at uh, Sephora 3 for. Uh, uh, was it $45? Yeah, $45. Because they're $20 a piece. And I'm going to be totally, completely, God loving, honestly with you guys. The only thing I like about this, this lotion is the smell of it. And um, I got a bottle of regular Marilla oil. It's not the one that whatever drunk elephant putting in theirs. And I'll squeeze it inside of there. And it, oh, it makes it really moisturizing. It smells really good, but... You'll be moisturized for a minute and you won't go ashy, but you'll see it's just gone. It's just gone. But when I put that Marilla oil in there, it feels really good. You get that soft feeling and then you get that, that wonderful smell that comes with it. But if you like these and you want the one that's, uh, the, let me tell you, the one that's really moisturizing, it's the one with the Acaia, Acaia, whatever, AC, AI Berry, whatever it is in there. Now that one is really moisturizing. I have it, but it don't smell as fragrant as this one. And you get one for free basically here. So I had to pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Moving right along. Moving right along, y'all. We already at 18 minutes. Uh, I picked up the Sephora favorite. Give me some new lip lip intense kits. It's in a cute little bag box. I think I like the metal packaging more than I like this little cardboard. And it's just filled with this same little stuff. I like the little metal containers more than this. And in here we have... Uh, who is this? Lip treatment? A mini plumping lip treatment. Oh, hell. A plumping lip treatment. What, what about this? What, what What's about the plumping thing? This is from Tristique. Interesting. And it's a lip balm. Okay, I ain't gonna worry about that plumping too much. But I bet it'll be good for moisturizing. And then there's a oh, Marc Jacobs full size too. Um I can't see this, yeah. Uh 310 Night Mauve full size lip crayon in here. That's what it looks like. I'll swatch it right there. Yeah, just a pretty new mauve. And then there's a Huda Beauty. Uh, I got this snobby. I know I got this. Dang it, what was that? Well, it's just one. Yeah, I got that. That came in a set, the set that I got. It wouldn't be right if I didn't do this. Y'all know it. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, I got Snobby. And then this is Smashbox. A Smashbox? Ooh. Always on metallic lip. I can't tell y'all what color this is. But I'm going to put it right here so you can see it. Even though I can't. <laughs> okay. But this is, I like these Smashbox Always Owns. 
Oh, I don't know about the metallic though. That's 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 cute too. Hmm. Okay. They last for a long time. I really like the way they look. And then the last thing in this is a, a Fenty Beauty lipstick. And I cannot see the color. I'm gonna have to get me some readers. That's just all it is. I'm gonna have to get some readers because I can't see that small right. But I will swatch it right here. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like um, flat out fabulous to me. That's what that puts me in the mind of. But this is cute, a little mini one. <laughs> so that wasn't bad in that little kit. You got I got a full size Marc Jacobs and a full size Smashbox, and the box is twenty eight dollars. So. Yeah, they're good on that. That was a pretty good deal. And then, guys, while we're doing lipsticks, I did pick up the Sephora New Lip Stories. I got these the day that they came out. But I only picked up three. And it was um, the one I have on now, which is this uh, Wonderlust. That's just really pretty. And I'll put it right there. This is what I have on. <laughs> yeah. And then I picked up. Uh, what is this? Berry Licious. That's pretty close to Wonderlust, except for it has a berry tone. I just like these colors. And I grabbed a red. I don't know why I grabbed the red because we got so many red lipsticks. And this is, uh, oh my goodness, a little magic. This is a matte too. Now I put the little magic right there. It's like they go on, like they're gonna be gloss, and then they matte down. And then I went back while I was in there yesterday. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And picked up three more because I was looking for the shades that uh, Desi had hauled. But I, the, the orange shade, I really wanted that shade, but I couldn't find it. So I ended up getting um, the green one, which I can't, I don't know what this is. Camera always cuts off on me when I talk too much, y'all. But this is what the bottom looks like. Focus, focus. And I'll swatch it right here. I want to say mean money or green money or something like that. Oh, that's a pretty green. Look at that. That is pretty. Hmm. That's what it looks like. And uh, I also picked up this. For eight dollars, I really wanted to get them all, but they were so missing. It was sporadically on the shelf. Okay, here. I'm wasting time trying to see it. Yeah. I'm like, I can't see the name of it, but yeah, I can't. And this is a matte, too. Oh, I like that, too. I like that, too. That like kind of like candy yum yum. That's it right there. Okay, and then, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to tell you the truth, I end up picking another of the Wonderlust, so I end up with two of the same kind, man. That's okay, for $8, it's alright, I won't even waste a trip back to take that back. I'll probably give it to one of my daughters. Okay, y'all, we're moving right along. This is going to be a long video. As usual, y'all know I get to talking, and I talk way too much, so... And also, while I was in Sephora to pick up these lip glosses, y'all, I purchased. I don't know why i done this, but it's not working. This is what I have on my face now. It's the Fenty Beauty. And I purchased the Fenty Beauty. Y'all know I had bought it when it first came out, and it didn't work. And I kept telling myself it was because I didn't get the primer. I didn't. I should have bought the primer. So I bought the primer as well. Soft matte is what it says. And I bought a... a the Pro Filter in 400 this time 
and this is the the darkness that it turned you know it got pretty close to my shade but before I could finish putting this foundation on um, and I was putting on my right getting ready to put on my concealer right getting ready and all this was patched out I got a mustache again so it wasn't that I got the wrong shade it wasn't that I didn't use the primer this foundation just don't work for me and like I'm telling you guys I have been using oils um, for the last month maybe two months since December and so I know it's not that my face is too dry because y'all know I'm a bucket of oil anyway so this foundation just does not work for me so maybe so many people just raving about it. It just made me want to try it again. But, yeah. I'm going to take these back, y'all. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up that NARS foundation that I was terrified to get. Because I'm thinking it's going to make me super oily. But I was after while I was trying this this morning, I got the idea to just put some um, velvetizer in it. And you know it mattifies the foundation. So I'm going to go pick that up when I take these back. And, um... Yeah, I'm sure that will work for me because I, I just, I don't know why I tried it again. Because I was thinking it was the color and because I didn't have a primer. But anyway, let's keep this moving. I picked up a Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I got this in Deep 66. get in here and this is what it looks like oh it's really soft can't really see it but yeah has no smell hmm little spongy sponge for blotting which I will use to blot it up first and then use my brush and yeah I like the packaging on this that's really cute and then I picked up this um, Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep 60. Thank you again, Desi. Oops. I'm blaming this on her. This was my trip from yesterday. This was $22. And that's what it looks like. It's in Deep 60. I used it today. But it was with this foundation. So I'm not going to blame it on that. But we'll see. We'll see. That's it for the powders. We're getting on out. Ah, we get, I mean, we're getting on down. We're getting on down. Okay, I got a few liners. Oh, no, it's not for the foundation, y'all. I picked these up in December. I forgot about that. And this was yet yeah, before the Tarte hype. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. I like Tarte. Tarte didn't do nothing to me. They, they did something to themselves. They saved me my money by not making my shade. So, what stuff you make that, that I can uh, use and that I really like? I can afford you, boo. So I'm going I'm going to buy you, but I'm not going to be mad at you for not, you know, getting my money, basically. So, I don't think that to be honest, y'all, I don't think that was uh, intentional because Tarte really don't make dark shade. They I haven't seen anything. I don't think it was intentional. I think it was somebody trying to get that money because I, I I'm going to tell y'all why I say that because I bought this is the Tarte High Performance Natural Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. <laughs> These was on Ulta in December for twelve dollars, and I picked up two of them. That's why, if y'all wondering why I got two, they were on sale for twelve dollars. Let me tell you my theory about Tarte. Twelve dollars. Now, what was quite wrong with these? The people that they made these for apparently did not like the way that they were packaged because it was, you know, this was foundation and it's in a jar. I got a uh, deep sand and deep honey, right? Twelve dollars. Okay, there. And I'm gonna tell you why because they was like forty dollars and they had a slash through the twelve dollars. Y'all know I was gonna buy these. This was before I knew anything about the shape tape, right? So apparently y'all seen it. Y'all know why I'm laughing. This is how it looks. And people were having an issue with how to get that out of there. Or how can I use that, right? In this jar. It was too messy. Have y'all seen that? Um, this is for the people that made this for. That the shape tape is supposed to be this very same foundation. You know the one in the hydrating one? <laughs> and the hydrating one 
is supposed to be this very uh, foundation. They use the same. That's what they said. Y'all been seeing this on YouTube. They use the same consistency of this foundation to make the shape tape foundation. The same ingredients is what it says. When I bought these for twelve dollars on the hydrating, I ain't mad at them. Even though I probably can't use this because I'll be oily as a duck, but I can sell them and it was twelve dollars, so I ain't mad. I ain't mad. And y'all know I ain't finna sell no makeup. I'm just sitting here lying. I'm gonna play with this even though it might be too oily. I'm gonna dump my velvetizer right down in this or on top of this and smack it on my face for $12 and I'm good on the short tart shape tape because I got the same formula here recreated and I can make it the matte formula for myself. Again, thank you tart. Okay, double duty beauty. I'm not mad at her. You know what I'm saying? I figured it was a marketing scheme. They put up all these, get rid of them for $12. They lost hella money on that, I'm sure. Or the people that, you know, like, I ain't going to say they lost because Tarte got their money on them. But what about the ones Tarte had stacked up that they couldn't sell? Even on their site, that was $12. So, went through the same form, squeezed in the bottle, and sold it as, as, as a sharp tape tape. That's smart. Really smart. And they didn't have those shades out because they never did have these shades initially. They wasn't never dark enough in the first place. But we didn't never notice the crap because <laughs> it wasn't for us. It was for dry skin. And we all this had. <laughs> okay, let me quit playing, y'all. Real quit playing. Let me go ahead and end this. Get this video done. Uh, let's see. I picked up a few makeup palettes. I did go get this uh, Christy, I mean Urban Decay X Christy Leanne. Uh, Kaleidoscope palette. I was looking at this palette and I was like, who they think gonna buy this palette? This don't make no sense. And um, because as you look at the on the back, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve little shades, and one of them is a half a shade. And I don't remember, I think it was forty some dollars. I'm not gonna back it. It's got a pretty big mirror. Let me put this up here. Pretty big mirror up here. And I'm saying I'm not gonna buy that. Look at that. Forty some dollars. Them all the shadows you get. It ain't even a full palette. I was just talking mess. And then I walked up to it, y'all, and put my hand in it. I just touched the blue. See, that's the mess I'm talking about. I had to get it. I had to get it. Look at that blue. Let me do the purple. And I just touched. I didn't swatch. I just touched it. And y'all know I do horrible, horrible swatching. See that purple? Just touch them, man. Look at this light blue. One more. Let's get this green. I know. I know it's a lot of you guys out there. Like, hold on. Alright, I want to see that orange. See that orange? Let me dry my finger off. I mean, wipe my finger off. Look at that. Y'all got to see why I bought this. These shadows are so pigmented. They are so... I had to get it. I, I know I was looking the same way. That can't be worth it. That's not enough shadow. But y'all see that. Man. That's okay. I don't know... Uh, Spit money on worse. And while we on Target, y'all probably talking about me by now. It's okay. We like what we like, right? <laughs> but still, Tart had another new palette out. And this is the uh, High Performance Naturals uh, Eye and Cheek Palette. This is the box. This is what the palette looks like. The eyeshadows. Y'all know I like Tart. I bought brushes and stuff last year. But I'm not mad at them because, you know, they can't make my foundation. Y'all can be just as, you just like, I ain't going to go into that. I ain't going to go into that. But uh, since we can't afford you, you know, I understand. But anyway, this is what this looks like. This is really pretty. I use this today in combination with the other Tarte palette. I like Tarte. I'm sorry, y'all. I just like their cosmetics. I don't like the way they handle their business stuff, but I like their makeup. This palette is really, really pretty. Um, I wanted to get the, uh, look at that pigmentation. They just make good palettes. They make bad choices on their foundations, which they never have made stuff on us. And I was ordering from them before 
I don't think I have one tart foundation. I tried, tried that one tart clay foundation and it did not work and I have never tried another foundation. But their palettes, I'm on board. I like them. Um, now if they start making them all pink, pastels, lights, I won't get them either because I know nothing I can do with them. This next palette, I'm sorry while I'm running my mouth, is this uh, high performance uh, finger foil. And y'all know I had picked this up before the height, the issue, the tart, whatever it is. And this is what the palette looked like. This was just so beautiful. I just wanted it. I really wanted it. So I went and got it. I mean, it's just, look at that detail. That's pretty. And these are colors you're supposed to use your fingers with. I almost didn't get it. But uh, I'm glad I did. I used this today. And these colors. I know it's not very many, but once you see the pigmentation, they are super soft. Oh, wow. Look at that. And then you, I'm just going to swatch them right there. And you're supposed to just use these with a little tap of the finger. Like that's how I ended up getting that purple. And they just go right on. You don't need to put anything on purple. That's burgundy. Put anything on them. They just they just do. Look at that. If they feel like velvet when you touch them. Now all that glitter, I don't know about that, but yeah. From one makeup addict to another. And it, it has a pretty good size mirror right there. Pretty good size mirror. This is just my addiction. We're almost done, y'all. Um, I also picked up this Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. It was on sale. I got this um, from Sephora. Yeah, from Sephora. It was on sale for $32. And I think it's the prism palette that's on sale. Now, I'm going to start waiting before I run and jump and buy these palettes. Because I paid $42 for that. And then this one, $42 or $45, $48, something like that. And this one was the same thing. This one was on sale. It's back the regular price now, but the prism palette is on sale. But I know everybody's seen this. And for $32, and I didn't get it because of all the... The downside, everybody was saying how horrible it was. That's why I didn't get it. But when I saw it on sale, I went ahead and picked it up. So, I'll be playing around with this to see how it works. And we have one more palette. Y'all know I got this in December. This palette was for the $99. And I was like, hell to the no. I like Marc Jacobs. And I've been on a palette, one of his palettes. But I did not get it because of the $99 price tag. And then right after Christmas, or was it a week before? It was either a week before or a week after. This palette went on sale for um, $66 or $64. So yeah, I picked it up then. And I just like the way it looks. I mean, I really wish this was one of them compacts. And look how small it is. It's convenient to carry. It has... 20 shades in here and I don't know how to open this mug up. <laughs> I cannot get it open. Oh, there we go. Oh, it has a huge mirror. Oh, hey boo. Hey, hey. Oh, anyway. Put this up here and these are the shadows. I know you guys have probably seen them. Because I was not trying to see it. I was avoiding it at all costs for $99. For 20 shadows. I just wasn't going to do it. That's the swatches right there. Really bad. But yeah. Sorry guys. Yeah, I know I can't swatch worth nothing. But you can see what this product looks like. Yeah. $66. I was all over it. I don't know if they still have it anymore. But I noticed it was the day after Christmas. When that first popped up. I was like dang that went on sale quick. So yeah. Hurried up and snatched that up. That's the end of the palettes, guys. And we're almost done of this long, long haul. I'm so sorry. I ain't sorry. I like to talk, y'all. Keep on sticking with me. Listen to me for a little while longer. I'm going to run back over here to Tarte. I'm sorry, y'all. Anybody that's offended, I apologize. But the shape tape works for me. And I had to pick up another shape tape. 
which I didn't have to talk about. I can push the little thing and drag by it. But I want to get a skin tone shape tape. And what the woo? I got rich. I think I got it super dark. Yeah. I want it skin tone. I think I got it. Okay, it just looks like it's super dark. Yeah, that'll be skin tone for me. That will work. They did good with this shape tape. They just screwed up, you know. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm pretty sure they're not the only ones. So it'll be alright, y'all. I got the Precision Long Wear Lash Liner. Yeah. Lights, camera, lashes. And I had saw, uh, yeah. Somebody, who was this? Alexis Jade. I think Alexis was using this and I wanted to get this a try. It was really, really black. And I like the cream one that Target has. So I got it. Last thing from Target. Okay. Last thing, y'all. Last thing. This is the uh, Tardiest Double Take Eyeliner. Looking for an eyeliner that they won't do what these did. You know how they make my eyes water? And see, on one end, there's a liner. And it's really black. Oh, I broke the tip of that out. I'm about to take you back. That was a big old chunk. That's real black. And then the other end is a felt tip. That's what made me grab this. I know y'all like, why did you get... That's it. That's it. Okay, that's it. And then, sticking on the liner thing... I did go get a Marc Jacobs Feline Liner. Didn't want to buy this thing because it was $25. But I keep hearing so many people. Y'all see the packaging on this. Talk about. This is the same as the samples. I thought this was a new. But this is the same as the sample size I got. No it ain't. No it ain't. I think this is the new formula. Because this is it right here. And it's really dark. I'm just looking for something that won't irritate my contacts, honestly. And then I, I picked up a NARS Ready Cream of Concealer on the Monday. I don't know where mine is. And um, I just got it because it's a lighter shade and I like to highlight with this concealer. So I just picked up another one of them. Um, two more things, y'all, and we're almost done. Oh, y'all didn't need to see the package. I know everybody knows the packaging on that. Another eye item I did pick up is this. This just recently came out. Um, I think I saw it Wednesday, Thursday in my uh, Sephora mail. And I just um, had to grab it. And this is the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit Mascara. It was $24, y'all. And the reason I got it was because they make a smaller one. They made this big one. And then they came out with a tiny small one, right? And um, I was looking at the, the bristles on it. And look at this. I really like how small they are. You see that? And I figured that would be, yes, it'd get under there really nice. Yeah, and it did. It did. Let me do the other one. I think I'm gonna go. I uh, googled a bingo place, a bingo hall, and I used to really like playing bingo. So I think that's what I'm gonna go do. Yeah, I like that, and it fits perfect on my bottom lashes too. And that's really hard for me to do without getting it all over my face. Y'all see that? Hmm. I'm glad I picked this up. I almost didn't get it because I have so many mascaras. But yeah, and this is a plastic-like thing. And it clicks. Yes. Okay, y'all. I picked up this Naked Skin um, Peach Corrector. And I was on the fence about getting this. Because y'all see that says deep, right? Can you see that? It says deep. If you can't see it, I'm going to tell you. Now, when I got home, I had to open it and look at it. And this is what it looks like. 
I was expecting a really deep orange for color correcting, but this is a really pale orange. That's it right here. But I kept hearing so many good things about uh, Urban Decay's color corrector. I wanted to try it. So yeah, we'll see. And the very, very last thing, and y'all know this was back in December when I picked this up. Oh, was it December? First part of January? Whenever these Rihanna uh, by Fenty lipsticks came out, that's when I ordered this. And uh, that's when the same time I ordered that lip story box. But I only got one because I just wanted to try them and I'm glad I did because I mean I hear that they're good but they're, I don't hear that they're too spectacular. As a matter of fact, this looks like the Sephora lip story. If I'm not mistaken, I got the shade, was it the one that starts with Mademoiselle or Dang it. I wish I had it now. No, this is PMS. And I'll swatch it. I'll swatch it right here. Yeah, this looks a lot like the one that I have on. Hmm. Go figure. This was $8. And this is $18. Wow. I'm glad I only got just that one. That's the end of this haul, y'all. It's super long. I was all over the place. I hope that it doesn't bore you guys too much and I'm sorry <laughs> but I'm gonna go get me something to eat because I'm hungry y'all have a blessed rest of your weekend and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> bye I'm really hungry too I gotta put all this mess up why don't y'all you on know, through the screen come on over here and help me put this mess up inside of that room with all that other mess I got to put up <sighs> okay.